Okay, today I want to discuss the um, preset collections. I'm on the presets tab. This is the October 21st, 2016 software version. And um, there are three types of presets in this collection. The first one is the shell presets which have, and you'll notice that it says empty. So these presets are, or the shell presets are ones that do not have preloaded programs. All of the preset collections above the shell presets, Biofeedback, Cancer, Detox, all the way through more gallons and lime, these would be considered factory preset collections and all of these will contain preloaded programs and settings so that you can basically point and click and uh, get started on these particular programs. I'll give you an example of a factory um, preset so that you can see it running. I'll go ahead and select a healing from the healing collection remote mode and the immune system stimulation you'll notice that the programs are preloaded for you you have extensive notes that describe what this is about if you go to the programs tab again you have your preloaded programs with your settings already taken care of for you your settings tab will reflect all your preloaded settings. This one happens to be at a 10 volt amplitude and this is the waveform that is selected for this particular one. It's the manual mallow um, sine harmonic and inverse and sync. So again this is all pre-selected for you. So you would just go to the control tab, allow generator overwrites, click on the generator button and click start. And I'll go ahead and close this and go back to my presets collection. I can either go up a tab or go to the home page. So these are all the factory uh, preset collections that you can pick from. You will also notice that cancer and detox environmental and Morgellons and Lyme. If you click on these, all of these have their own PDF guides as to how to run the protocol. Just so you know that's there. I'll go back to my home page. Now I want to address the shell presets. Oh, before I do that, I'll also mention that the user presets are ones that I've already saved. I've created my own presets from a shell preset and that's a different video so I'm not going to get into how to do that but um, the user presets are ones that I've created. So all of these are ones that I've created from shell presets and saved into my user um, preset collection. I can also go straight to this particular area where you see the blue U in the home and that will take me to my user collection. I'll go to the main screen just to give you an example. Um, well, I created this one earlier. Um, that was kind of an example so but anyway, that's the user collections. Now I'll discuss the shell empty presets. These are ones that, well, before I even get into the remote mode, these particular presets right here are for the equipments, the um, spooky coal laser and the spooky coil. Spooky coil is also known as the PEMF 
spooky coil that which uh, attaches to your uh, generator and the spooky cold laser is a wrist device and one that's got uh, uh, it's a different attachment it's not the wrist but the uh, one that's got uh, the laser lights well they both have lights but anyway it's a different attachment okay so I will um, discuss I'm going to focus just on remote and as a practical matter when you are looking at this series of empty presets basically what you have um, what you're going to be using mostly are the healing or the killing and uh, when you are building your own presets the first thing you are going to want to address is whether to choose a healing or killing modality. If you go to page 38 of the user's guide, it will tell you basically um, if it's pathogen related, um, it's a killing mode. If it's detox or healing, you're going to want to use a healing mode. So just wanted to show you that briefly so a number of these are, are rather advanced I'm going to stick to some easy ones um, the first one here you can read about again that's an advanced uh, uh, collection so I'm not going to worry about discussing that the essential oils um, have their own settings uh, if, uh, if for instance you wanted to build an essential oil program you would use one of these presets and uh, I'll just give you an example oh I already have it pulled up okay so one of these essential oils um, you know if I wanted to use that one I would use a preset that would either be this one or that one so you get the idea there Golden ratio is an advanced issue. Um, I'm not going to really get into that one. Hulda Clark or kilohertz programs. This is one that you will want to know about um, on page 99 of your user guide. You will see that this particular, these two sub databases it suggested that you use this particular preset for that because it has its own unique settings I'll show you that you'll notice that it has a nine and a half volt amplitude and a 100 percent offset so that's kind of the unique aspect of these kilohertz and Hulda Clark uh, sub databases the ones you're, you're going to use the most are Healing and Killing JW. So Healing JW for detox and for entrainment. If you are trying to heal an organ system or trying to get it back into um, resonance with its design frequency, then you'll use a Healing JW. Healing MM is a manual mallow. I'm not going to get into that one. Um, the Holland 11th these are designed for this is actually a killing modality you really don't want to use these for healing this is a little bit more advanced but I'll just show you briefly uh, the Holland 11th is discussed in more detail on page 65 of the user's guide you can read about it there it's a little bit more advanced than healing or killing so I won't worry about getting into too much detail there um, this one is kind of an older well it's one from an older Morgellons protocol so I'm not going to get into that either killing JW is pretty often used killing JK uh, Jeff Kaxer uh, 
both of these are, are good. They have slightly different settings. JW uses the uh, inverse sawtooth waveform. Jeff Caxers, and you can, you can read about the details here. It uses an inverse waveform, but it's got a built-in uh, harmonic here. You can see how it's di how it's different. That use that's the <laughs> um, Holland Eleventh feature, and it's got this feature too. So it's slightly different. The uh, molecular weight database or the me molecular weight um, empty shell preset is not designed to use with the molecular weight database. Um, that has its own information on starting on page 127 of the user guide. You can read about it here. Um, also, uh, let's see, there's the uh, disintegrative factor part that is involved with if you are trying to remove a substance from your body you would tick on the apply disintegrative factor box which is located on your programs tab it's going to be located right here on your programs tab I'll show you what that looks like right here you would tick this if, if you were using the uh, molecular weight database and you wanted to remove a substance let's say thimerosal you know you would apply it right you would tick that box of course you'd have to um, look at your molecular weight database uh, but I'm not going to really go into that I just wanted to show you that briefly The Schoon effect is, again, this is another feature that you can investigate on your own. Um, it is, uh, let's see here, where is it? On page, looks like uh, 66, is it? Page 66 of the user guide, you can read about it here. I won't go into any detail uh, on the video. Again, you're going to be using healing or killing primarily. I just wanted to point out some of the, these different aspects of the shell presets. Your substance uh, manual mallow. Again, this is an advanced um, type of thing where uh, if you go to the advanced uh, forum, um, you can see how manual mallow um, kind of uh, was a predecessor of developing some spreadsheets on how to calculate uh, um, molecular weight uh, frequencies. And so um, that's not something that we really need to get into as a beginner. Um, don't worry about it. I just wanted to show you where that is. So that kind of um, concludes the discussion about these particular shell presets. Again, you're going to be primarily using Healing JW if you're looking at detox or entrainment frequencies. This is one you're primarily going to be using to create your programs uh, as a user preset. You'll save it as a user preset. Or you'll be using one of these Killing JW or Killing JK. Those are the three primary ones. If you have specific ones for Hilda Clark or kilohertz frequencies, you'll be using these. So of all of this, all of these collections, you're going to be primarily using healing JW or killing JW or killing JK. All right, let's see if I can remember anything else to mention here. Okay, one thing I can mention, and uh, I'm going to go to my home screen, and uh, 
let's say you I very often use or if I go to the miscellaneous and remote there's some pretty good ones actually hidden right in here and I actually like this particular one right here uh, quite a bit and I use it a lot so rather than having it hidden within the miscellaneous tab what I can do is save it as a user preset you'll notice that when I click the save button it'll open up this dialog box and since it's in remote I could click it on remote but I kinda wanna have it exposed so I'll just put uh, um, broad spectrum and I'll know what that is and I'll save it there I could probably just let's see here could just highlight it copy it I'll copy it I'll save it uh, that's easier to do I'll just paste it and that way I'll have it like that when I go to my user guide now I will see it highlighted right here I'll just go ahead and delete this one by clicking that okay so I just wanted to show you that if you wanted to break out any of your factory collections that you use a lot I use a lot of these a lot of these as well but rather than breaking it out I know where to find those very very easily it's the uh, miscellaneous ones that are kind of hidden so you might find that uh, uh, your overall dental health or sleep and insomnia song of the spine uh, you can investigate these independently but each one again since this is a factory preset collection it'll have your programs and detailed notes all right that should fix us up for today thanks for watching